on your own social media account, whatever it is. I design you to design. I challenge you. <laughs> I challenge you to design an emotional eggplant because today's were letters and today's words. Well, today's letter uh, and words start with the letter E. Yes, E. So our words today are emotional and eggplant. We stick them together to create something awesome. And so we are going to be creating an emotional eggplant. An emotional eggplant. Yeah, it's an emotional, it's an eggplant. It's an emotional eggplant, but I challenge you to do this. So I hope you stitch this together with somebody or with me and my video or whatever. And then challenge others to create their own emotional eggplant too. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, emotional eggplant. Here we go. I challenge you. This is the emotional eggplant challenge where I challenge you to create an emotional eggplant. You can stitch it with me. You can either uh, follow along and do my emotional eggplant or create your own version of an emotional eggplant, whatever that means to you. Emotional eggplant challenge. Here we go right now. Start off with a circle, I mean oval at the top. Boom. Two curving lines down and connect the bottom with a curve. Add some leaves because they have them. And then you can draw a line up the center just like that. Now I like to add some hatching lines down the stem for some added one detail and two. It adds shading value. Lines can create shading and value. Um, and also I added a spiral in there for some texture on the stem. So we do big areas first. We always work on our big details, then our small details. I'm adding also dashed lines on there. And look, just by adding lines, we've made it look super detailed. That's all it takes. All right, now anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue to draw your amazing emotional eggplant with me. Now remember, this is the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel and you come here and subscribe to this channel because we take two random words and we smush them together, emotional eggplant. We'll start with the letter E, smush them together and see what happens. And I just like to draw without a preconceived idea. It means I'm just gonna make it up on the spot. Every single video, I have no plan. I have just two words and then I make it up in front of you. And that's why you come here because we're, if you're looking for some different art videos, so some different style of drawing, this is the place to find it. Um, just because it's just the way I am. I like to be strange and unusual. Okay, here we go. Curving line for your eggplant. Up to the top. Now eggplants are kind of shiny. Um, so I'm gonna draw a curving line, a curving triangle on the belly. I'm calling it a belly. I don't, pff, it doesn't have a real belly. Uh, but anyways, uh, on the vegetable part of it, we're gonna draw a curving triangle to make it shiny. There. And now I think I'm gonna put my face in here on my emotional eggplant. Oh yeah, it's emotional. I gotta make emotional eyeballs. Okay, let's start off with some tears. Ah, we're gonna draw some curving. Ah, tears welling up in the eyes. And then big, Drips, it's starting to come. The tears are rolling off its emotionally egg-planted belly. Ah! Okay, there we go. You're welcome. That just happened, you, you, you didn't see that coming. It happened. Make, making my tears shiny by adding some glistening little bits here that are gonna stay white. Yes. Yes, okay, curving line above each of those to make an eyeball. And in each eyeball, we're gonna draw a circle and a smaller circle, big circle, small circle in each eyeball. And then we're gonna color in those eyeballs nice and white, leaving, sorry, nice and dark, leaving the circles nice and white. Guys, I need to go make myself lunch soon. Mm-hmm. All I can think about is food when I'm drawing food. I make it so hungry. Anyways. I mix up my words. Okay, now big details to small details. 
Next is a big detail is a mouth. We're gonna draw a line between each of the eyes. And it's, this is gonna be a yelling eggplant. It's like yelling about how upset it is. So we're gonna draw a big square box <laughs> for the mouth. And we'll draw a letter M on the inside and actually maybe it needs some teeth. Yeah, that looks good. Add some teeth on the top. I know you can't tell the difference between my tongue and the teeth right now, but uh, when I color my tongue red, you'll see the difference. Okay, big details and small details. We're gonna add some lines along the edges and that's just gonna help add some detail, make it super cute. And around the eyes as well. Boom, 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 boom. And her mouth. Oh, look at that. Check it out, guys. Okay, if you wanna add some even more details, you can add some hatching lines. Emotional eggplant time. Okay, wait. It's floating in outer space. I got some lines below, so it's not floating. Otherwise, it is going to be in outer space, and you'll see stars everywhere. Okay. Just like that. All right, now, once you're done your emotional eggplant, go ahead and find something to color with. It can be whatever makes you happy. Okay, and go ahead and color in your emotional eggplant. And if you're doing this as a challenge, Make sure that you stay, or make sure you stitch it with me so I can see that you're doing the emotional eggplant challenge. And then of course, because it's a challenge on me, social media, you need to challenge others to also do the misertastic eggplant challenge, I mean emotional eggplant challenge. Not just an eggplant, hello, that's weird. But do an emotional eggplant! Otherwise, it's just boring eggplant. Emotional eggplant challenge. Hey, it could be a sculpture, it could be a collage, whatever makes you happy. Emotional eggplant, it, my friends. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, tears on the ground. Once you're done, your emotional eggplant is done. 